This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually, through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992-000-2. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box, then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the Questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar. Send an email to chuck at valerian-group.com to report it or call 813-527-1276. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-414. 4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. As mentioned, the project location is Curry Ford Road, State Road 552, from Conway Road to Gaston Foster Road. We are making these changes to reduce conflict points along the corridor and improve safety following a roadway study. Since the study, recent crash data shows there have been 17 crashes in this area between January 2020 and mid-April 2022. As part of increasing safety on the corridor, the FDOT utilizes access management to provide a balance of access and mobility. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points along a roadway by minimizing the number of driveways and median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. In some cases, conflicts and crashes can be mitigated by closing the directional median opening, resulting in left turns being redirected to an adjacent median opening to complete U-turns. So, what are conflict points? Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. Currently, there are dozens of potential conflict points with the existing median configuration on Curry Ford Road 
when you take into consideration vehicular movements within the median, those entering the median, and those driving through the median. The number of conflict points increases greatly when adding the vehicular movements from the adjacent business driveways. The proposed improvements aim to reduce these points of conflict. The proposed safety improvements on Curry Ford Road from Conway Road to Gaston Foster Road include converting the full median opening to a bi-directional median opening and constructing a raised concrete median that directs vehicular movements. Once complete, you will only be able to turn right onto Curry Ford Road when exiting Montclair Road. Similarly, when exiting Conway Plaza, you will only be able to turn right. Those heading westbound on Curry Ford Road will still be able to turn left into Conway Plaza, and those heading eastbound will still be able to turn left onto Montclair Road. These median changes follow more than 40 years of experience and research with access management, reducing dozens of potential vehicular conflict points to just a handful with the proposed configuration, making the road safer for all users. In addition, these practices increase mobility, or the efficiency of a road. As traffic flow is made more efficient, the roadway can handle more traffic and congestion levels decrease. Moving forward, the design of this project is anticipated to be complete in fall of 2022 at a cost of $10,500. The improvements will be constructed entirely within the existing right-of-way and therefore will not require property acquisition. And finally, Construction is anticipated to begin in late 2022 or early 2023 at an estimated cost of $150,000. To learn more about this project, you can go to www.cflroads.com, click on the search icon, and enter the project number 992000-2 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 7, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992-000-2. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at richard.smith at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 562, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5326 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. In the state of Florida, 35% of all serious injuries occur at intersections. Target Zero is a statewide initiative to reduce the number of transportation-related serious injuries and deaths across Florida to zero. For more information on what FDOT is doing to achieve Target Zero, scan the QR code on this slide or visit TargetZeroFL.com.
On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by May 7, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992-000-2. Have a good evening.